Hi everyone. Uh, welcome uh, to this Q and A session. Uh, uh, that's organized by the Middle East Institute uh, and as well as the Singapore Film Society. So uh, my name is uh, E.T. Uh, I'm from the Singapore Film Society and I'm uh, the programmer for the Middle East Film Festival. So um, we do have a very wonderful person joining us today for the Q&A, right? Uh, so in a way, it's a joint cyberspace between Singapore and Tunisia, right? So uh, we have Mehdi Basori, uh, who will be here to talk about his film, A Sun. And as you know, uh, A Sun is one of the six films that are screening uh, at the Middle East Film Festival. And we have here uh, Mehdi to sort of tell us a bit more about the film, as well as to answer some questions that we have uh, of the film and to discuss further about how Middle Eastern cinema is and, and all that. All right, so hi, Mehdi, are you there? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you very clearly. Perfect. Okay, so let me just give a very quick introduction to Mehdi. Uh, so Mehdi was, uh, is a graduate of the Higher Institute of the Multimedia Arts of Tunis and holds a degree in film direction from the Drama Art and Music Studies in Bologna, Italy. Uh, he has directed three short films to date. Right, but of course, uh, his first feature film, uh, debut feature, A Sun, uh, was uh, selected at the 76th Venice International Film Festival. And uh, it has, I guess, gone to many film festivals around the world. And in fact, we wanted to screen the film uh, last year, right? But because of the pandemic, uh, we couldn't do that. But thankfully, you know, we are able to do that this year. And yeah, we are happy to have uh, you, Mehdi, over here. Thank so, you. Thank you very much. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend about, say, five to ten minutes just asking you some questions before okay. I will open the floor to uh, the audiences to, to ask uh, any questions. Okay, perfect. Okay, how about let's start off with, um, you know, the, the film title, <laughs> A Sun, right? Why, yeah. why the sun and not say the sun? Uh, because, you know, uh, the sun, it's very specific, you know, it's very, uh, that just let me start the video. Yeah, do you see me? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, the sun was very specific and uh, I wanted to talk about all the children uh, around the world. So a sun, it's more uh, intimate and uh, it's more, uh, how can I say, precise. So uh, that's why in others, in other festivals, some, uh, some uh, in the audience ask me why uh, the title is a son and not a father or a mother or... <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that the answer is very clear. Uh, it's, it's about um, the bond between family and I think that the children are in the, in the middle, you know, and that's... Uh, that's from where everything starts. So that's why the title is a son. Right. And, and I think um, in, in the sense that the, so in a way the script, the, the idea that you first sort of conceptualized was, I guess, based on this idea of a son, right? Mm -hmm. uh, were there any other sparks in which your story was conceived? Uh... So <laughs> let me let me be honest. Uh, I cannot say that the, the the film the idea of the film is autobiographical, because I think that I I uh, there is no doubt uh, to, to 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 prove the biological uh, bond between me and my father, because uh, I think that there is no doubts to have, uh, because I'm his biological son. But let me be honest. Another. Um, since young, I was questioning uh, the relationship between uh, between members of a family, uh, the re the bond between a father and his son, the bond of uh, between a mother and uh, her son, and I think that since young, I was trying to answer to these questions. Uh, what does it mean to be a family? Is it uh, 
what is exactly this bond? Is it a biological bond? Is it a physical bond, a genetical bond? Is it an attitude? Is it a way to raise uh, our children? So uh, that's how, how uh, started the idea of this family, uh, of this father discovering that he's not the biological, son, uh, the biological father of his son. And how, that's how this, all, all this journey begins, you know? Right, right. And I guess uh, in your film, it's of course a triangular relationship. Right? You have the father, you have the son, you have the mother. Um, and of course, you talk about, you know, blood ties or, or, you know, is it a kind of like more of a physical relationship, right? So uh, is there any sort of significance in the sense that uh, are you referring, say, this idea of a son or the father, for instance, to a specific kind of person or no 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 uh, no no it's not I, i'm not referring to any uh, f physical person but uh, you know um, i live in tunisia and tunisia is a is a muslim country right. and uh, like all almost the the muslim countries uh, the 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 re, the relationship between a father a mother and between a family is very physical. Uh, I think that all we are very uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but tactile. Uh, no, I don't know. We are very physical. You know, we know to touch. We, right. we, we love to touch. We we like uh, touching things. You know. Right. And uh, so the the idea where was to. To, to question this family and also to question also the society where I live in, you know, uh, how, what is, what does it mean to have a son, you know, what does it mean to have children? Is it like I was saying before, is it a physical uh, bound? Is it a physical relationship or can it be all the love that we can give and the love we can share to, 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 to each other, you know? So uh, that's why uh, I was, I, I think it was very important for me that the film was in Tunisia and uh, the, 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 that the, the, the characters uh, are, deep, are um, how can I say, evolving in, in, a, in a Tunisian society and a Muslim society. Right. To, so so it's, uh, it's my way to do politic, you know. <laughs> So uh, that's it. Well, well, I mean, uh, um, your film is set in a specific year, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, maybe you can share with us more about what was happening back then. I think it was 2011, right? Yes. Uh, and how, how that also shaped your story and, 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 and your work. Uh, and also what, what, what kind of sort of, what was the context back then? Yeah, uh, 2011 was a very important year for Tunisia, but also for all the, 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 the Arab world, because uh, here in Tunisia, we were at the starting point of what we can, uh, of what uh, is called the Arab Spring. Mm -hmm. uh, so we were living under a dictatorship and uh, we were living under Ben Ali, uh, the, 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 the previous president. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, 2011 was very important because as Tunisians, we were discovering uh, our country. We were discovering each other. We were discovering uh, and it was a, a very uh, pacific uh, movement so uh, for me, it was very important because it was I I was living I was in Tunis and uh, I was participating in the in the first uh, you know democratic uh, protests. It was the first time wow. uh, for me. So I was uh, discovering my country, you know, and by discovering uh, this country, I was also discovering the people uh, with me in all this protest and uh, so when we were when we were seeing and that almost the same thing was happening in libya in egypt in bahrain and in the other in the other country it was terrific you know we were in a movement right. and uh, 
So 2011, why? Because uh, like this family in this film, uh, Ferris, Mariam and their son, Aziz, uh, they will face the truth, you know, by this secret, uh, <laughs> with this secret that they uh, discover, they will rediscover the truth. And uh, it's like there is a parallel between what uh, the country is living with what this family is living. So, uh, and this parallel was very interesting for me and uh, with, with the other stuff coming from Libya and uh, this, this chaos uh, right. near to us, uh, that's why, uh, Came, that's how came the idea to set the film in 2011. This family discovered with this secret, they are discovering each other like they were discovering the country. Right, right. That's, that's really fascinating. And I think uh, one, one, there was a part in your film where the character goes on a, a car trip, you know, to, yeah. I guess, to Libya, was it? Yes. Uh, so there's this... And that was probably the only time, apart from the opening scene where, you know, they were traveling and then there was the ambush, right? That was the only time when we sort of got to see the, the vast landscape, you know, of, of, yes. of the area. Um, did you actually shoot in Libya or something like that? No, uh, no, no, no. We shot, in, we, we shot the film in Tunisia, but uh, for this location, we were like uh, 20 kilome k k kilometers from the Libyan border. Ah. It was the closest uh, set to the Libyan border because uh, we shot the film in 2018, fall 2018, and the situation there was really chaotic and it was impossible to shoot uh, in Libya. So we were, um, we were trying to figure out how to, to uh, replace uh, Libya by Tunisia and <laughs> that's the magic of, magic of cinema, you know. Right, right. Um, okay, at this juncture, uh, are there any questions from the floor that you might want to ask? Uh, feel free to either raise your hand uh, and the host will unmute you, or you can chat, uh, type into the chat to MEI events and they will feed me the questions. Right, You can do that anytime uh, during the session. Right. So feel free to just type uh, any questions that you have. Um, in the meantime, um, I guess we have sort of discussed about the family dynamics, you know, father, mother, and son, as well as the wider political context, you know, of uh, Tunisia, of the, the fall of Libya as well, you know. Uh, but an interesting thing about your film is that the social political context is always underneath the story, you know, and, and I find that very fascinating because it's not explicit, but you can feel there's something going on around them you know that is yeah. far great that is far greater than perhaps their problems uh so how do you navigate this you know family versus the whole wider social politics yeah uh yeah thank you for this question for this question because it was the most complicated thing uh to to uh, during the script writing uh, during the writing of the film uh, because uh let me be honest i didn't want to make a political film in the front line you know uh, I, I, I'm not interesting, I'm interested in that. The, the, I was interested in, 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 de in developing this story of a father, of a mother, of the son, and this nightmare that starts uh, for this family and how uh, they will deal with the, with, with the truth and how they will deal with each other. That was, th that was the, main, uh, starting, the main starting point of the film. And then, uh, for sure, we cannot ignore uh, the social, cultural, uh, and uh, political weight of religion. Uh, right. I'm living, and these characters are living in a, in a Muslim uh, country. And uh, even if Tunisia is one of the most uh, modern uh, country in the Arab world, we still uh, we are still facing some. Uh, how can I say the the, the dark face, you know, of right. uh, of uh, the religion, and uh, so it's like you said the the political, the cultural, the religious part is underneath 
the 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 the, the main story. But uh, these characters cannot uh, cannot grow, uh, cannot uh, change without facing all these problems. So uh, that's how uh, it was. Like I said, it was very complicated because uh, how to deal with Ferris with his uh, you know reaction, his past reaction, his past, and Mariam, how will she react? Uh, when they, all the hospital will judge her, when her right. husband will judge her. So it was, uh, but uh, if I have to be honest, another, another time, the actors uh, helped me uh, because we talked a lot and uh, we, we did a lot of, uh, of rehearsals, uh, like one month before the film to, right. to find the... the the right tone of the film, you know, how, uh, because uh, I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to, to, to face uh, directly, you know, all these problems. I wanted, I, I wanted them to be very subtle, you know, to be, in the, to, to be in the background and not in the front line, uh, because I was, like I said, the most important thing for me was this family. Right. And uh, how the how the 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 global can interfere with the intimate, you know. So that's that's it was a little bit complicated, but it was very uh, it was very um, how can I say uh, it was a lot. There was a lot of uh, adrenaline, you know, to do it. Right. right. Well, uh, speaking of right, uh, at the Venice uh, Horizonte category, isn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, so how how was it like working with him, and and how was that whole experience at Venice? You know. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Venice was uh, fantastic. It was fabulous because um, because they they really wanted the film months before uh, the 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 fest the, the announcement of the selection. And uh, we 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 make it we made it uh, very uh, we made it as a secret, you know. Oh. Uh, and uh, and uh, it was really magic because Venice it's one of the most important festival uh, around the world, and it's my first feature. And being there, it was like really uh, a dream coming true because you know all the crew was there, all the. All the and uh, one thousand and four hundred people uh, during wow. the year. It wow. was. It was. I, I was completely terrified <laughs> when, I, when I saw the reaction of the audience and uh, the ten minutes standing ovation, and then mm -hmm. all the interviews and all all the feedbacks. It was. It was really uh, fantastic. Uh, and uh, we ended up having two prizes in uh, in Venice, so two awards. So we were. It was really like a dream come, uh, becoming true. And uh, from Venice started. Uh, it started a long journey around the world because I, I I've been uh, almost around uh, the world. I was supposed to come to Singapore to. to <laughs> right. To the but from where yeah, with this pandemic, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't possible. But I'm really um, grateful, you know, for Venice, because uh, everything started from there. And the interest uh, of, of festivals, of buyers, uh, the film was sold in, I think, 20, 23 uh, countries around the world. Mm. And for a very uh, small country, Tunisia, uh, it's a, it's a very important thing because uh, you know uh, with the with with all the chaos in Libya and Daesh and all these terrorist uh, groups, uh, Tunisia was known uh, for the, as as the first country uh, exporting jihadists and terrorists. And now uh, with cinema, we can export culture. We can export. <laughs> We can ex export another stuff, so I'm very proud of it, of it and I, uh, I'm very grateful to Venice. Right, right. Um, I guess your actor, I think uh, his name is Sami Bouajila. 
Yeah, yes. pronounce it correctly. Um, yes. he, he is quite a veteran actor, isn't it? And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I remember he was uh, in, in this film called uh, Days of Glory. Yes, exactly. The, the Algerian uh, film, isn't it? Uh, exactly. Uh, so, um, so how was it like working with him and versus, uh, I presume your child actor is a non-professional actor? The son? The son and your actress is she a professional actress as well? Uh, the, the actress is 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 a is a star here in Tunisia because oh. she's doing yeah she's doing the um, TV dramas, mm. so uh, she's very known here in Tunisia and uh, even um, during uh, during the shooting on set we were it, on each one minute you know interrupted because someone wanted to take a photo so as uh, there she's very very known here uh semi and semi is very known in france uh because he's born uh, he was born there and uh, yeah he was very uh, known because he won the 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 best actor award in Cannes film festival so right is known and uh, yeah, uh, the son wasn't a professional. It was the first time in front of a camera. Uh, and I, like I was saying before, um, uh, previously uh, we had one, uh, one month and a half of rehearsal uh, before the shooting. Right. And it was a very important step for me because uh, it's, my, it's my first uh, feature. It, it was important for me to, to, to set the tone, to set the dynamic, to set uh, the intentions, you know, because sometimes when you, when you write a scene, uh, it looks like a very good scene, but when you, when you start rehearsing and when you, when you, you start seeing it uh, live, you know, right. you're disappointed and uh, <laughs> you have to make some adjustments. And uh, for me, it's a very important step because you know, a scene uh, when it's written, it's 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 particular. It's it's something written, and when you when you starting uh, see when you when you starting uh, seeing it very clearly, uh, I think that the scene the scenes can change, and the, the, this step of rehearsing with the actors. And even uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, a, a, a dict. Uh, how can I say, <laughs> theater as a director? Right. Because uh, even if I wrote the script and the dialogues, I I I, I want to to work with my actors, and we start a session of rewriting the dialogues. I wanted them to be very uh, smooth and to be very. Um, natural and authentic so i can uh, also use also how uh, they speak you know to be uh, so to work uh, and because the most important thing for me is that we don't see the actor behind the character you know right. and that's how i i work to be the more uh, authentic and uh, and uh, to be uh, in in a honest relationship between between me and the spect and the audience, right, right. So, are you a kind of director who does many many takes, or are you like say you know one two takes and then that's it, you know? No, uh, <laughs> it depends. It depends. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I will explain to you how I work. So, I I'm not. For sure, I'm not the kind of director uh, sitting behind the combo and uh, and uh, making uh, observation and this is this is works, this is doesn't work. No, no, I'm not like this. Uh, I have a small monitor uh, with me, and uh, it's it, it works with Wi-Fi, and uh, I'm always near to the actors. I'm always moving. And I speak a lot with them during shoot during the shooting. Uh, I the, the my sound engineer for the first week wanted to suicide herself, uh, <laughs> kill herself, because he was completely mad uh, uh, with me because I speak a lot. So, but but then I uh, but then. Um, 
we, we found our rhythm and I'm very near to the, to the actors and I speak to them, I talk to them and uh, to, 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 uh, to, uh, to have what, what I want. So uh, obviously I don't speak when they speak because we cannot edit. But uh, if I give you some rushes of the film, I think that I speak more than they <laughs> Right, right. Uh, we do have a question from the audience. Uh, so this question is about uh, how was the reception like in Tunisia for your film? And was, say, the, uh, was, it, was your story a bit taboo in Tunisia? Or, or was, um, it okay? yeah. uh, was it okay? Taboo, uh, taboo no. Uh, uh, let me answer the first part of the question. Okay. Uh, the, the film was very uh, well received here uh, in Tunisia because uh, and it, uh, the film remained like uh, two months two months in the in the theaters and it's very uh, it's very good for a Tunis for a local movie. Um, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of debates of uh, with the audience. I traveled a lot uh, in the country to to talk with the all with the audience uh, in all the country. So uh, it was a very uh, exciting part. And uh, is it a taboo? No, absolutely not. Because since two thousand and eleven, I think that the most important thing that we uh, that we um, how is how can I say that we not gained, but that we uh, won is uh, freedoms of speech. Now we can talk about everything, every subject, everything, every single thing we can, we can uh, in cinema, in art, in, in, right. in art in general, we can really uh, talk about everything. There is no more cens uh, censorship. There is no more dictatorship and we, call, we can talk about everything that we want. So uh, it wasn't a, a taboo at all. Right, right. Right. I mean, that's really fantastic. I mean, um, you know, as an artist, as a filmmaker, I mean, this is something that, you know, you just have creative freedom, right? To tell your story. Yeah, yeah it's very important. I'm, 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 and I'm also very lucky, lucky uh, to be born uh, in, during these days that, <laughs> not these days, but I'm, that I'm assisting to this. Uh, I'm very lucky. And I think that uh, it's, we have to, to, uh, to make all the possible to, to, to give this to the future generation. And, uh, the, and Tunisia, Tunisia has to, to still uh, to, to, to remain a democracy, you know, because now everything is, we're living uh, in a, the, the, the freedom of speech is, is is so important now that uh, it has to remain like this. Right, right. I'm just curious, uh, how was it like, you know, um, you know, back in the days of the dictatorship, were there films being made? Uh, were people going to the yeah. cinemas to watch films? Yeah, they, 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 yeah um, films were made, but, uh, but, you know, everything was under censorship, you know, everything. Right. So, uh, the, the film weren't political and uh, it was and even the audience here in Tunisia was really disconnected from the the, 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 the cinema because you know it was a very uh, it was an elite you know of, of directors talking about uh, two or three subjects you know about family uh, and it wasn't you know it and and from 2011 <clears throat> from 2011, films are becoming more social and uh, we are talking about social issues social problems and uh, the, the, the audience is reconnecting now with the cinema and uh, it's fantastic right right i just want to jump into a specific point in your film which is the use of music uh, yes. so you hired uh, amin buhafa Yes, I, I remember him from his uh, work for Timbuktu. Timbuktu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mauritanian film, I think. Yes. Uh, I remember seeing that, and the music in that film is amazing, and it's amazing yeah. in your film as well. So, how did you get to know him, actually? Uh, so, I mean, he's Tunisian. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah he's Tunisian, and uh, he's living in France. And uh, I met him uh, during the Carthage Film Festival uh, here in Tunis. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, we, I talked with, I, <clears throat> I, I didn't know him, but uh, we talked about the film and my producer uh, introduced me to him. And uh, we talked about the film and then uh, I edited, uh, I edited the film in Paris. So uh, I met him in, uh, because he's living in Paris and uh, I met him uh, in Paris and he was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm interesting. I'm interested to see uh, some minutes of the film and some uh, rough cut of the film. And he saw the film and he was, uh, he was, he saw the rough cut of the film and he was completely uh, amazed by the actors. And uh, I told him, and he was trying to, 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 to convince me to start uh, writing the music. And I told him, no, 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 I have to finish uh, the, the, the editing because I wasn't sure to put, to put music uh, in the first uh, rough version of the film. And uh, step by step, you know, I was, uh, it was an evidence for me that it, it has, the film has to have some music. And uh, that's how, you know, we started uh, collaborating together. Right. Uh, because as I was doing some, you know, uh, research on him as a composer, right. I just realized that he also composed for another film in our festival, which is uh, The Unknown Saint, a Moroccan ah, film. Ah, okay, the Moroccan film. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the yeah. film is a, sort of a very, sort of, uh, it's a comedy in a way, but it's a very serious kind of, uh, yeah, <laughs> serious yeah, comedy, yeah. right? Yeah, so. I, I heard a lot of, uh, of good things about the film. I, unfortunately, I didn't see it. But uh, I heard a lot of good uh, feedbacks. Right, right, and it's a f it's the director's first feature film as well. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's amazing uh, to see you know many many filmmakers from you know. Ah, let me ask you a question to change you know the. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. What are the films <laughs> programmed in your festivals? Sorry again. The films that you are programming, which one? For sorry, what was the question again? So, uh, can you tell me which film are you oh, programming okay. in the festival? Uh, so, we have, um, of course, your film, uh, yeah. The Unknown Scene. We have uh, this Turkish film called A Tale of Three Sisters oh, uh, yeah. by Amin Alper. Uh, okay. We have uh, another debut feature film by an Israeli filmmaker uh, okay. called The Day After I'm Gone. Uh, okay. And we have... Uh, this Algerian film called Papicha. Uh, Papicha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Papicha. So, uh, yeah. Oh, film yeah. as well. And our last film is The Orphanage from Afghanistan. I, I didn't see it. <laughs> so, yeah, we, yeah. we do have a very diverse, you know, uh, programming. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Um, wow, it's almost 35 minutes uh, we have been talking. Time flies, <laughs> yeah, you know, time when, flies. when there's really good stuff to talk about. Um, yeah. So far, okay, so we have a question from an audience. Uh, what are your upcoming projects? Uh, any future plans on your second feature, you know? Yes, I, uh, I'm trying to work uh, on my second feature. I'm writing right now. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm in the second version of the second draft. And uh, yes, uh, the main, yeah, it's completely different from a son, but we, there, is, there is the spirit of a son. We are talking, it will be about emancipation of, uh, of a young girl here in Tunisia. And uh, she, she will have to go through a very, um, uh, through life that's, what I can say, it's uh, inspired by true events. So, uh, so unfortunately, I cannot uh, give a lot of details. Okay. But uh, I'm writing, and uh, hopefully, uh, I will start uh, searching the financing of the film and uh, during this year. Right, right. Uh, we have another question. Uh, a raised hand by Dr. Asif Shujia. So okay. maybe the host could unmute and yeah, can ask your question. Hello, yeah. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank Hello. you, Et. Uh, you have been very popular. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if you could also review some of the Indian, you know, Indian movies which has 
uh, you know, song as well as dance as well as the script, you know, all those things that you like. A wonderful job that you have been doing and uh, uh, I feel envious of your job, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe thank you so much. Uh, I have been enjoying your elaborate discussion and, uh, you know, this, uh, this particular thing, uh, uh, you know, we are academics and uh, we do a lot of writing and uh, we have to depict in writing whatever has actually happened, you know, and uh, you as a director do the reverse job, right? Uh, you see a script, something is written, then you actually enact it, uh, something that is happening. And when a director is also a writer, uh, this is what the God does, you know, uh, the God writes the script, then it actually directs the whole world. The actors are us, you know, <laughs> so it's a very, very tough, complicated job. So my question uh, to you, uh, and I'm very excited to talk about it. It's the first time I've been talking to a director, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have been talking to the writer, but not writer as well as director. So my first question, uh, and this may be the only question for today. My question to you is, uh, while you are directing a movie, is it more difficult than you are also a writer? Because uh, you may be having the kind of images what you were write while you were writing and you have to depict it in its entirety or is it uh, you know more difficult when somebody else has written uh, because you may not know how exactly to depict it uh, it's a difficult question but uh, i would be very glad if you could answer it thank you so much uh, both of you. thank you thank you for your question and for you for your very interesting question but i think that my 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 answer was will be very uh, easy and simple I think that I prefer uh, to uh, shoot the stories that I wrote. <laughs> wrote? How, th that's how, yeah. So, uh, because I think that um, this way I, I know exactly what I want. I want, I know exactly what I wanted and I know exactly what I will want, you know? So uh, I'm, I think that when I, when I shoot stories uh, that I wrote, I know uh, exactly the starting point of my characters of my characters during the writing, and I know exactly what I want them to be in the final uh, uh, draft of the editing. You know, I w when you write and you shoot and then you edit because even the editing is a second or third writing. You, uh, you, you have all uh, in your hand to, uh, to, uh, to, how can I say, to, uh, to offer uh, to the audience what you exactly uh, wanted. Right, right. Uh, I hope that thank answers you. uh, your question. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much for your question. Um, if there are any other questions, please feel free to raise your hand or you can type into the chat. Um, we are also coming to almost to the end of the session. Uh, so I just want to also ask uh, just a broader question about, you know, Arabic cinema, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not just, say, Tunisia. There's also like Algerian cinema. There's so many uh, countries in the Middle East. Um, where do you see sort of Arabic cinema heading towards in the future? You know, what kind of, I, I guess, issues or perhaps a style of filmmaking that you think might come about, you know? Uh, I, um, I think that uh, we, are, we are seeing something. That, um, there is something cooking right now in the Arab world, in the Arab cinema. And I think that uh, the Arab uh, directors are now uh, more and more free to talk uh, about really uh, what uh, to talk about uh, the issue of their society and not and, and they are not interested anymore in telling what the uh, the western world want to see from the arab world right you see what i mean right. you know right. We are talking about real subjects from our society, and there is no more this, uh, this how can I say, this Western phantasm, you know, about camels, about Sahara, <laughs> right. 
about uh, this kind of stuff. We are talking, we are now uh, like all the human beings, we have problems and uh, we have normal problems and a problem in the Arab world can be, even if it's the same problem, it can be different from the Western world to the, to the Oriental uh, world, you know? And the, I think that we are more and more free of this phantasm of Orientalism, you know? Right, right. And I think and this is, yeah. So, sorry, I interrupted yes. you. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, more uh, we will be free of this phantasm, you know, more we can talk uh, deep in authenticity and, uh, and uh, we can share, you know, uh, with, the, with the more global audience. Right, right. And because I, I remember my first uh, sort of encounter with a film that is about Arabia was actually Lawrence of Arabia, you know, that, that amazing film, uh, very long film, four hours, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and as you mentioned, you know, it's camels and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and of course, it's about the history yes, of the it's, you know, um, it's the shot of the, of the wind, uh, you know, it's, it's a traveling of the wind. Right. You... <laughs> yeah, that's a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, I'm also just curious because uh, your film is uh, co-produced by France as well. France, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, France uh, Lebanon, and Lebanon, Qatar, well. Qatar and uh, and no, that's it. How how do these countries? play a part in your production? Do they provide finance or something like that? Yes. Right. yes. Yeah, yeah, finance. And uh, it's my, my, uh, my main producers who, uh, because the film was a little bit expensive for a Tunisian, uh, a Tunisian film. And, um, and uh, it was almost impossible to do it only with local financing. So we, uh, my producers were, tried to, you know, and uh, that's how the financing plan uh, came in, you know? Right, right. Okay, we are almost coming to the very end of the session. So if you have any last questions, please feel free to type into the chat. Um, so uh, anyway, thank you so much, uh, Mehdi. I mean, you're welcome. I have thank seen your you, film uh, I think, four well, times. Uh, so thank you. It's, <laughs> it's a real a pleasure for me. Uh, to, to talk about the film and to talk to, to, to talk with a very uh, different society, uh, you know, Singapore, for us here in Tunisia, Singapore is it's another dimension, you know, it's another uh, it's another planet. You 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 are a lot advanced uh, compared to us. So uh, I wish uh, I was there, but unfortunately with the, this pandemic, but. I hope that I will discover your country, your country uh, someday. Uh, sure. I mean, let's go for a coffee together, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be great. I'm, I'm just curious, has there been any Singapore films being shown in Tunisia before? Like at a festival or something like that? I don't or, know. Or quite rare, is it? Yeah, it's very rare. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I mean, it would be amazing to bring, say, a selection of Singapore films to play at one of yeah, your festivals. Great, yeah, <laughs> I think that, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, I don't know if there is uh, an embassy here, but I think that it, it can be very important to, to have this cultural bridge, you know, right, between the right, right. Uh, It's very important. Right. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we have come to the end of the session. Uh, and for those who have joined us, uh, thank you for attending this session. I hope you found it uh, insightful. And um, the Middle East Film Festival is still running up to Wednesday, right, online. And uh, of course, uh, catch a sun if you have not. Uh, and I guess uh, it's time for lunch for you, right? And then uh, dinner yes. for me. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank Happy you. New Year and thank you so much. Thank See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.